Hi, everybody. This is Tia Bottom with Time Marker Photography and Legacy Living with Tia. I have a Facebook group called Empowering Time Markers, where I interview women of value that are amazing every week. And this week, I have the beautiful Paige, and she is a marketing strategist and a travel entrepreneur. She is so inspiring to me and so lovely. Her business is Paris by Paige. I am introducing you to her right now. Hello, how are you? I am well. Thank you so much, Tia. I'm excited to be here. Awesome. So tell me about yourself and about your business. Yeah, thank you so much, Tia. I am a marketing and visibility strategist. So I help coaches, speakers, authors become more visible online and share their voice. I also have a signature company called Paris by Page, which leads tours to France and has a Paris inspired stationary line. And I'm also an Amazon lifestyle influencer. So I do a lot of different things and I have a fun time doing it. Awesome. So tell me where you are in the country. Yeah, I am located in the Midwest. Um, I'm in southeastern Wisconsin, uh, just about an hour and a half north of Chicago. So we are still very cold here um, at the moment. <laughs> yes, um, we're filming this at the end of February, but it is going to air uh, the beginning of March in 2020. Yes. And I am so excited to have you do a live in there, but we'll touch on that a little bit later. So um, traveling, I know, is like such a passion of yours. And yes. I can only guess that Paris is your favorite, right? So tell yes. me um, how often, minus COVID, you would travel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Paris and French have always been a staple in my life. I started speaking French when I was five. Mm -hmm. I actually studied at the Sorbonne um, in Paris, lived in France for three years. So I've been going back and forth to France since I was 19 years old. So that's 30 years. Um, normally, I am there two to three times, sometimes up to six times a year, um, except for this last year. Uh, so uh, it is basically my second home and I so enjoy the culture and the language and the people and I just adore it. I'm a true Francophile. <laughs> That's awesome. What is your favorite thing about Paris? My favorite thing about Paris is the cafe lifestyle where you get to go and you can sit and have a coffee or a tea and just watch the world go by because everyone has a story and you get an opportunity to make those stories up in your head. I'm a writer, if you couldn't tell just from that <laughs> response. Um, but if you're an artist or you draw or you journal, I mean, it's like the perfect place for that. There's so many beautiful and picturesque settings that you can just get lost walking in the streets. I bet you cannot wait until you can go back. Oh my gosh. Girl, when they say I can come, I am coming. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So um, how, since we were talking about COVID a little bit, how has that shifted your business? So my business actually shifted completely on its head. Um, it was, uh, a, I usually imply, you know, implore an 80-20 uh, rule. Um, it was 80% travel, 20% consulting, and now that has flipped. So um, it has really helped me get laser focused um, on the growth of my business, which I can happily say that uh, there were a few hiccups, you know, when travel shut down, but... Um, because I had the other things going on, like my stationary line and the consulting, we're, we're good. We're okay. So it's really helped me laser focus on the growth and the different types of activities that could help grow my business. And so I've been lucky with that. Awesome. Um, so I didn't know about the stationary until you said that. So oh, tell me yeah. a little bit about that, because that's very intriguing to me. So I wanted to have a stationary line. I wanted to have something that I can send to my clients and my friends that was very reflective of me and very reflective of my love for Paris and just really more sophisticated design and that kind of thing and aesthetic. And I couldn't find anything. I searched in high and low for two years. I couldn't find anything. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to start my own line. So I did. 
And I started my, it's called the Paris Collection. I have four girls. Uh, there is Violet, who looks like me. That was the impetus for the line. So there's Violet. Uh, she's a brown girl. There's Sophia. She's a blonde. I have Genevieve, who is a brunette. And now we have Daphne, who's a redhead. So it's basically, if you know anyone who loves Paris or loves anything French, it's a stationary line specifically for them. And you can find something that's bespoke and that kind of looks like them um, in my line. So it's cards and prints. Uh, yeah. And in a t-shirt line, I mean, it has t-shirts, all the things. Oh my gosh. I love that. And I do have people in mind that I'm going to make sure they contact you because they love Paris too. Yeah. We, we all know that one person that if they love anything French, you go in their bathroom and it looks like the Eiffel Tower just yes. threw up in there. We all know that person. So, <laughs> and that's who my stationery serves. <laughs> so uh, another thing that when you said this, that it wasn't there and I had, I've how about I do it? I love that. I love that, especially when women do that and you're um, a trailblazer. So thank you for doing that and showing we can do that. So yeah, no, I, I really feel as if, you know, the gold mine is in the gap. If you actually have a product or a service that you're serving a community that's being underserved, you can make a lot of money. And not only is it about money, but you can make a significant impact because those people have felt as if they weren't heard for so long and you are providing a product or service that hears them and sees them. I mean, that's so impactful. Oh my gosh. You, so true. So true. And, um, I love that about you. You inspire me all the time. I love it when I see you on Instagram. It's always something funny <laughs> yeah. or uh, beautiful. Like it's, you're amazing. So I'm going to be sharing oh, all your links it. below too, so they can follow you as well. So tell me, um, speaking of business still, uh, why is personal branding so important? You know, I think personal branding is important because it's your intersection between your products and your services and the value that you promise to people. Okay. So when we've all been in a situation where we saw someone online, we liked their content or we didn't like their content and then we met them in person and they were completely the opposite. And you're like, oh, I didn't know she was so nice. Right. Or oh, that person is way more dynamic in person than they are online. You know, you really want those things to match and personal branding is an opportunity for you to be able to do that through your business, through your personal uh, posts that you put on social media, through speaking and networking. So having a really good handle on what your personal brand is and what you stand for and where you can showcase your, your best self, that's the importance of personal branding. And you have that down pat, like you are exactly, <laughs> you match very I well. Try. <laughs> and I'm so glad that you're going to do a live next week on a March 10th uh, about importance of personal branding. You're going to go more in yes. depth with it and um, oh my gosh, so much value. Also, I do know because I have taken one of your um, week long courses during at right after Christmas. Yeah. Or, and um, you, you have online courses for these things too. So I do, I do. Um, I have online, we have, um, I do have a business partner with another business that I'm doing, um, my business bestie, Elaine Terso. Um, we have the Level Up to Scale Up and the 8338 Collective, which is a community to, to help educate women on all of these things. Um, but we have courses um, about the different uh, software platforms that are out there. So from Trello to um, Instagram, we also talk about building an email list, you know, all the foundational business pieces that people may need we have courses for that awesome i uh your website is beautiful too i can attest to that oh thanks <laughs> okay so here <laughs> we're gonna finish up now because we're having some technical difficulties but i just want to thank you so much for doing this with me is there anything upcoming besides the live that you're going to do for me that you would like to share 
Um, yeah, I would love for if any of the viewers in your audience are Amazon shoppers, I would love for you to come over and follow me on Amazon live. I actually have a live stream channel on Amazon. Um, all you need to do is just Google K page Ingle Amazon, my shop page will pop up and just hit follow. I would love to uh, talk to you all over there where I'm sharing my favorite things and interviewing my favorite people. Yes, it is. It's very awesome. I love that. And it's such a new thing for it a lot is. of people who didn't even know it existed. And of course, you, you are, uh, you're so amazing. You find everything. So you're definitely somebody that I love to be connected with. And um, I adore you. So thank you thank so much you. for doing this. And um, I'll have all your links down below. So thank you so much. Perfect. Thank you. And I can't wait to share with the audience next week. Yes. Bye.